Hello everyone. Welcome back to Langmaster Learning System with me, Amanda. Today, we will practice your listening skills with a meaningful story. I'm sorry I lied. Let's get started. I'm sorry I lied. Jenny was so happy about the house they had found. For once in her life, she would be staying on the right side of town. She unpacked her things with such great ease. As she watched her new curtains blow in the breeze, she thought about how wonderful it was to have her own room. The school year would be starting and she would have friends over soon. There will be sleepovers and parties. She was so happy. It's just the way she wanted her life to be. On the first day of school, everything went great. She made new friends and even got a date. She thought, I want to be popular and I'm going to be because I just got a date with the star of the team. To be well known in this school, you had to have clout and dating this guy would surely help her out. There was only one problem. Her parents had said she was too young to date. Well, I just won't tell them the entire truth. They won't know the difference. What's there to lose? Jenny asked to stay with her friends that night. Her parents frowned, but said, all right. She got ready for the big event excitedly. However, as she rushed around preparing, she began to feel guilty about all the lies. She got rid of her guilt by telling herself that she would have fun with the pizza, the party, and the moonlit ride out. Well, the pizza was good and the party was great, but the moonlit ride would have to wait, as Jeff was half drunk by then. Despite being half drunk, he kissed her and said that he was fine. The room began to fill with smoke, and Jeff took a puff. Jenny couldn't believe he was smoking that stuff. Soon, Jeff said he was ready to ride to the point, but only after he smoked another joint. They jumped into the car for the moonlit ride, without any consideration on whether or not he was too drunk to drive. They finally made it to the point at last, and Jeff started trying to make a pass at Jenny. A pass is not what Jenny wanted at all. And by pass, I don't mean playing football. Perhaps my parents were right. Maybe I am too young. Boy, how could I ever, ever be so dumb? With all of her might, she pushed Jeff away and said, please take me home. I don't want to stay. Jeff cranked up the engine and floored the gas pedal. In a matter of seconds, they were going too fast. As Jeff drove on in a fit of wild anger, Jenny knew that her life was in danger. She begged and pleaded for him to slow down, but he just got faster as they neared the town. Just let me get home. I'll confess that I lied. I really went out for a moonlit ride. Then all of a sudden, she saw a big flash. Oh God, please help us. We're going to crash. She doesn't remember the force of impact. She only remembered that everything went black. She felt someone remove her from the twisted rubble and cried out, call an ambulance. These kids are in trouble. She heard voices, but it was only a few words at best. She knew there were two cars involved in the wreck. She wondered to herself if Jeff was all right and if the people in the other car were alive. She woke up to sad faces in the hospital. You've been in a wreck and it looks pretty bad. These voices echoed inside her head as they gently told her that Jeff was dead. They said, Jenny, we've done all we can do. However, it looks as if we'll lose you too. What about the people in the other car? Jenny asked. We're sorry, Jenny. They died. Jenny prayed, God, forgive me for what I've done. I only wanted to have just one night of fun. 
Tell the families of those involved in the accident that I'm sorry I've made their lives dim and I wish I could return their families to them. Tell mom and dad I'm sorry I lied to them and that it's my fault so many have died. Oh nurse, won't you please tell them that for me? The nurse stood there solemnly. She never agreed. She held Jenny's hand with tears in her eyes and a few moments later, Jenny died. A man asked the nurse, why didn't you do your best to grant that girl her one last request? She looked at the man with sadness because the people in the other car were her mom and dad. Did you like the story? If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Leave some comments on what you want to listen to next. I'm Amanda, and this is Langmaster Learning System. See you next time.